Hey, good morning everyone. It's Jay with Journey Vision and it is a gorgeous morning here in Apple Valley, Utah. I've been here for th three days already and just really enjoying the peace and quiet of this very secluded campsite. I'm on what's called Little Creek Mesa. It's actually a mountain biking area. I was here in 2018, so this is my second time visiting this place. It's pretty cool that I'm making round two on some of my campsites. So I'm gonna spend the rest of the day here today, and then tomorrow I'm gonna go into the town of Hurricane and visit my dad. I haven't seen my dad in almost six months. I'm really loving how peaceful and quiet this campsite is. It's very pretty. Let me show you around. I really wish I was able to do a mountain bike ride today, but unfortunately I've been having some issues with my shoulders, just been acting up. So I've been working on that, but right now I'm gonna get out and hike and enjoy this incredible day and take you along. Just wanted to take a moment and introduce myself a little bit so obviously my name is Jay and welcome to the journey I'm from Colorado Springs and I've been living in a minivan for 18 months now so I'm pretty excited a year and a half living inside of my minivan Odie and it's been quite the journey and quite the adventure that I hope to share with you in this channel this is my second time camping up here. I was here in 2018 on my first van tour and my first attempt at full-time van living. That lasted for about six months and life happened. It broke my heart and I ended up getting off the road for a while. But take us back to June of last year, I resumed full-time van life and it has been amazing. If you're interested in my channel, I created a playlist. So if you go to my channel, look for the full-time mini van life playlist, you can actually see those videos back from 2018. Now, if you ask me why I'm doing van life, it's for this. I have really enjoyed this hike. I am no longer sad that I couldn't ride my mountain bike. Had this whole place to myself and walking on the slick rock is really, really fun. Well, I'm getting really hungry and it's time to get back to camp and make some dinner.
I've had some people ask about how my van packs up when I have all my stuff from the outside packed up inside. Well, you just saw a lot of it goes into the roof box, but inside, this is what it looks like when I travel. Well, it's time to leave this amazing campsite. I really enjoyed staying here. It was perfect. So for the last two weeks, it's been pretty much solo. So for most of my van trip this year, I've been around friends or I've had company, but this was the first time in a while where I had a long stretch where it was just by myself. And as an introvert, I absolutely loved it. I chose a minivan to make a camper out of for my nomad life because I wanted to do something different. It seemed like everybody was doing sprinters or full-size Chevys. I thought I could pull off a minivan. And this was about four years ago. And truthfully, it was really hard to find any information on converted minivans. I found a lot of sources now, but back then I, I didn't know anything. And, just decided to give it a shot. I bought Odie for 2800 bucks, so it was an easy investment. I knew I'd be chopping this sucker up and putting holes in it and drilling and ripping everything out, so it's much, much easier to do that to a $3,000 van than a ten dollars or $20,000 van. My background is in backpacking and tent camping. I love it. And when I built my van, I really tried to apply a lot of those minimalistic principles to my van. So multi-purpose items, bringing the least amount of things possible. And also I just really enjoy being in small spaces. I, if I was to do another build, I would probably do another minivan. I've also been considering an SUV. I don't think I would do anything bigger but I would like something with more clearance and possibly four-wheel drive. It just would give me a lot more access to campsites as campsites are getting busier and busier. So that's another good reason why I chose a minivan is this thing can get in spots and sites just like that last one that big rigs can't. So this is a little nasty. And not the way I came in. So Google totally had me going the wrong direction. It wanted me to go down a crazy 4x4 road. You got to be careful with your Google directions sometimes, guys. It will, it will screw you. I, it's happened to me several times. I rely on it too much. I'm guilty of it. And today it's probably costing me about 20 minutes. No biggie. All right, the journey continues. I have been at the Willow Winds RV park for the past four days, hanging out with my dad and catching up with family. It's been really relaxing and nice to get off the road for a while and just do some shopping and take care of some necessities. 
the RV park is in the town of Hurricane, Utah, which is just outside of the city of St. George, which is growing a lot. It's been very busy out here. And one last thing I want to share with you is that in the 18 months of all my travels, I've only spent $36 on camping. I'm going to spend about four or five more days here. I have a little bit more family to see. And then after that, it's time for me to head north and make my way back to my home base of Colorado Springs and prepare for my seasonal job. I'm really excited about this. I'm actually going to be putting my van in storage for four months and preparing for this next part of my journey. So be sure to like, subscribe, share my channel, leave me a comment. All those things are going to help this channel grow. For those of you that have made it to the very end of the video, I have something special for you. I'm going to queue up some footage from the Escalante Grand Staircase National Monument. I did some deep exploring to get this footage. I had an amazing time seeing this very special area and I hope you enjoy.